Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's a lazy Saturday here in my house. My husband's away and I really didn't feel like cleaning at the moment. So um, I thought I would do a demo of this new mascara that I got the other week. And it is by the company Unique. Now I've been seeing this pop up a lot on you know Instagram, Facebook. It is one of those sort of deals. It's actually like a company, a makeup company. They sell more than just the mascara, but you have a sales rep kind of like you do for like Avon or 31, all those different little parties. It's one of those sort of deals. And there's a local girl who started selling it and thought I would really enjoy trying it. Now I do think it's a bit pricey for a mascara. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I want to say it's around $32, $34, but you order online, so you have to pay tax and shipping. So I think I ended up paying $37 for this, you know, mascara system. So almost $40 for mascara. I have never in my wildest dreams thought I'd pay almost $40 for a mascara. Now saying that, it is a really neat concept, really, you know, cool idea, and it does work. Um, so basically what you get, it comes in this little case, almost like a little eyeglass case. It's really cute. You know, you wouldn't probably, if you're traveling, pack your little tubes in the case. You know, that really isn't practical. But what you do is you get this um, Mood Struck Transplanting Gel. And let me go ahead and show you the wands and everything before I do the demo. And this is what the wand on the gel looks like. Just a typical basic, you know, bristled brush. Um, it does have a little bit of an indent here in the middle, um, you know, so it kind of makes it easier to grab your lashes. And this is the coating that you put on before you put these um, little fibers on. Let me show you these. <laughs> when I first pulled the wand out of this tube, I kind of freaked out. It looks so weird. It literally looks just like this wooly little mascara one. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the little fibers that's coating this. And basically this sticks to that transplanting gel and kind of, you know, builds to your lashes and gives you the look of false lashes. So um, the directions say to first apply um, a coat to the front and, you know, the back and the top of your lashes. So I'm going to use Maybelline the Rocket. This is one of my favorite mascaras. So I am looking down into a mirror if you're wondering why I'm not looking at the camera. So I wanted to wear minimal eyeshadow so you could really see the mascara working. Get the tops. Now I'm gonna do one eye how I would normally wear my mascara in one eye with the unique just to see can I get the same result just from layering my mascara or you know is $40 a good deal to get the look of false lashes so let's go ahead this is the um, the eye that will go ahead and just really build up with the mascara and see if they're as long thick Oh, well, I just made a boo-boo, but that's okay. We're not worried if there's mascara on my eyelid, are we? We just want to see how long we can get our lashes. So ignore that and ignore the horrible faces I'm making. You know, you make them too, girls. Okay, so this eye, I just did one thin coat of my mascara, and this eye, not only did I get it on my lashes, it's on my eyelids as well, so ignore that, but this one, I built up a little bit more. So let's see. We're gonna apply the gel. And it says before this fully dries, is when you have to put your little 
fibers on. So really coat those lashes with that gel and I am just making such a mess. Normally, I don't have a problem. You would think this is the first time I'm ever applying mascara. Then we're gonna take our wooly brush and I'm just gonna coat my lashes. Kind of the tops, grab the tops. And then you want to seal all of that in because obviously they're just little nylon fibers. You want to go back in with the gel. And you want to seal all those little fibers in. So there we have it. There is a comparison. This eye has the fibers. This eye does not. I mean, I do believe that you can see a little bit of difference. Now, you can keep applying this after you do the, the coat of the um, transplanting gel. You can take your little fiber wand and you can go back in and you can add more. Now obviously I think the more you do this you risk looking like you have tarantula legs for eyelashes. That's two coats. I think you can really see the fibers now a little bit in my lashes. So it definitely does not give a very natural look. Now it does look more dramatic and bold than the eye without the fibers. So I think, you know, if you're going out and you want full dramatic lashes, you don't want to fool with, you know, strip lashes, you know, with the glue and everything. I think this is a really, really cool idea and it, and it does, you know, look full and long you know I do like it after this is all you know used up will I spend $40 on this again probably not um, but I do think you know try it you know it's definitely fun um, it is definitely unique like the name um, says so anyway there it is, there you have it. So if you, any of your friends have been talking about it and you're like, what is that crazy fiber mascara? Here it is, find yourself a rep, get yourself some and see what you think. Let me know if you've used it and you know a better way of using it, a great mascara instead of maybe the Maybelline one to pair it with. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video, bye.